first trending topic. Now, nah, right. this topic, I, it, I'm introducing it as a trending topic because this wasn't one of our, you know, main segments. But I don't think this is a trending topic. I think that this is an ongoing issue. So let's talk about this Jacob Blake shooting. Um, and let's talk about this. I don't even know the name of this other guy. He was 17 years old. He, right he took house. an assault rifle to a, a Black Lives Matter protest, and they were calling him a vigilante, which is crazy to me. But um, let's start with the Jacob Blake. So uh, Kenosha officers, which is in Wisconsin, uh, were called to a domestic incident about 5, 11 p.m. on a Sunday. A woman called her boyfriend, a woman called saying that her boyfriend was present. It was not supposed to be on the premises. According to investigators from the Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation, on the police call, a dispatcher names Jacob Blake and he says that he isn't supposed to be there and that he took the complainant's keys and refused to leave. Dispatcher later explains that she doesn't have more details because the caller is being uncooperative. When the officers finally arrive to the scene, they attempt to arrest Jacob Blake and they use a taser to try to stop him, according to the DCI. They say Blake then walked around his vehicle and opened the driver's side door and leaned forward. Police said that about five minutes after the initial report, dispatcher received reports of shots fired. Um, at this point, an officer grabs Blake's shirt and he fires his service weapon, a.k.a. his gun, seven times into, and I heard that they're saying that it might have been eight shots now, into the 29-year-old man's back. No other officer fires their weapon except for this one officer. Um, officers then get aid for Blake to the hospital in Milwaukee and literally cuff him to the hospital bed. The man is now paralyzed. Also, they shot him in front of his children. Um, they cuff him to the hospital bed. They're, they were at the time charging him as a felon. All those charges have been dropped, of course, mm -hmm. because of, of course, of course, because of the media and the us. Coincidence. It, right. So. Um, we want to talk about just the fact that, you know, police brutality is still happening. It's been so much since the pandemic has even began, um, with the other incidences that the police have killed people on camera that were unarmed. And I heard that Jacob Blake was also unarmed. Um, and you know, we see them give this respect to white people no matter the age, no matter what they've done, they could blow up a movie theater and still get escorted out. They, matter of fact, uh, like Dylan Roof shot up a school and they gave him Burger King and they Burger escorted Burger him King. politely into into the, I mean, he killed children, you know, and, and they don't shoot him on sight. So I guess what I'm, we don't, we don't, we don't even need to talk about, uh, it, it's not an argument of whether or not they're literally executing us for no reason. At this point, it's just become, what do we do now? How do we respond? Because we need to respond. This has been happening since the beginning of time. It doesn't seem like it's changing. At this point, all we want to know is, what do we do as black people to combat this police brutality? Hey, um, first and foremost, you want some champagne? Hey, can we get another cup? See, how I'm Alex? getting treated now that he knows that I that I'm that I'm. No, no, no. that's your whole you. friend. Whole can we get a cup? You of Alex? whole friend. Hey, um, shout out to Bel Air. I know we talk jokes, but shout out to Bel Air. They still giving us um, cups, right? they still giving us product when a lot of people aren't getting products. So shout out to Bel Air. Thank no, that's you. That's a fact. Um, as far as this, uh, Ooh, uh let's get serious. Um, I start. I feel like I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? In the regards of you have an unarmed man um, walking to a car with his children in the car. And no matter what the, the situation and how it played out, I can't justify shooting someone seven times. You know what I mean? Because when you shoot someone seven times, you're in intent, the back. In the back, walking away from you. In front you. of his I children. I mean, granted, he was walking into his car. And I don't trying care to where he was walking. He could have been walking off into valid, the sunset. Exactly. You shoot, first of all, you, you no guys do know that they're, you're not, as an officer, you're trained that you don't shoot somebody in the back because at that point, they're not a threat. They are, they're walking away. So regardless, you don't shoot somebody in the back. Even if they would have apprehended him before he got into his vehicle, that's different. But you don't shoot somebody in the back. That's not police protocol. Exactly. And I feel like it just speaks to the times. Um, yeah. And we have to revisit this conversation. I know that some people are like, why do we keep talking? We're beating a dead horse. It's yeah. that and the third. 
But again, I said it time and time again, all it takes for evil to progress in this world is an absence of good. Yeah. So people are going to keep doing, it's going to keep happening. Yeah. And it had been happening prior to this. And, and thank God for social media because now we're seeing it yeah. like on a grander scale. Yeah. But something must but be done. But nothing's changing. Yo, so Yo, I, Jay and I watched Black and Blue yesterday. I saw that. Right? And, it, and I was just looking into some of the perspectives they were trying to speak on in the movie just basically how even the good cops are bullied so far into what these quote unquote bad cops are doing the culture that it's so normalized how high up it goes before there's even a stop like what i really what I mean, about the still, justice system because up. do you know i i so what what really really disturbs me is that the justice system has no issue with charging black criminals yeah. with sentences for crimes that they didn't even do right but when this happens on camera the it's man is not like, arrested immediately right. he's not being charged right. immediately how right. does that work right so and i think it's even beyond the police right. department it's the, right. it's america but that's why i said but you don't make it, up. i was gonna like say you're, goes so high the prosecutors up. The, the judges is, is so state's up. attorney all like, of that at this point we know that it's crooked yeah, and it was built and designed this to way. be crooked. Hey. So it's intentional. It's, it's intentional. Oh, it's in intentional. And my thing is, n anybody at the top doesn't care. Nobody at the top because nobody at care. the top is black like, or brown. Nobody at the top is black hey. or brown. What I would like, say, no. hey, hey, Monique, can you scroll down a little bit, real quick, before I start. Cool. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, the NBA thing can tie into this too. Um, just for sake of time. What I would say is, uh. You know, the NBA, well, the NBA initiated the boycott. The yeah, Bucks. before we get that, before we get it, I'm yeah. just saying, like, for sake of time, we're going to tie it in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yo, you know, I'm tired of having a conversation, and it's not even the conversation, right? It's like, just being honest, you know, my, my lawn brother said something in response to uh, um, LeBron James' um, response, and a lot of people kind of felt the same. And they were saying, like, sometimes, like, you got to, like, not say anything if you don't say the right thing. And they were saying it because he said that we were scared, right? And a lot of people were like, we're not scared, et cetera, et cetera. We're fed up, right? And I understand that. But you can't dismiss the fact that we are scared. No, too. I'm scared. And that's, and that's I'm, one of, I'm, and, and, I'm a complete, and, it, listen, if I wasn't scared, every time the police, I see the police or the police get behind me, I get afraid. So I'm still scared because at the end of the day, we don't have the weaponry and we don't have the camaraderie to fight back right now. But it's, 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 it's more than that, right? It's, it's fed up and, and scared because it's like, as a man, the only thing you got in this world is, is your name and your character, right? Um, You know, I don't ever want to be in a position, and I'll say this time and time, it's something I really pray about. Like, I'm not trying to be in a position where I got to prove myself to my family because a lot of these situations, something could be done to help save people, right? But we we're, we're not. A lot of people aren't ready to to make those to, to, sacrifices. To make those sacrifices, right? And I'm just thinking, like, yo, if my family is in this situation, I have to prove my love to my family. So in that situation, I'm either going to be dead, or I'm gonna go to jail for a long time. And you know, like, it's sad because, like, we've been seeing this literally since 1955, like. Literally, Even and it's to the that. point where it's though. Nah, this has been going on yeah, before then, yeah. right? And I say 1955 because that's when Emmett Till, and even though it wasn't a black, it wasn't officer. It's just the fact that you can hear something old because you're a subjective, lie. right? You're subjective to think what you think. You can do something to harm us, right? And it's like, yo, I don't fuck with the fact that you know, like this is happening and we can't do anything, and like it's, it hurts because. Officers mistreat men, officers mistreat women, officers mistreat anybody that doesn't look like them because of whatever they want, right? Mm -hmm. If we ever, in our position, do anything to either us, whatever, if we do anything, we have to then, we arrest it, right or wrong. We have to be proven innocent. Cops get in these situations, they don't give drug tests. But you know what's crazy? Like, According to the justice system, it's supposed to be guilty until proven innocent, but I've never seen it for a black person. It's always guilty. No, not for a cop. 
is always innocent. And no, and it's always for a cop. It's, and I'm saying I've never right for a cop. It's always innocent, innocent until, until proven, guilty. proven guilty. And I don't understand. Guilty. how First of all, how how okay? If I'll give an example, if we all work together, right, and somebody else comes in that doesn't work with us, and an incident occurs, and I'm wrong, right? But y'all, you know, y'all didn't see it. At some point. Isn't that like favoritism? Like how how can how can if the police in the in the court systems are working together, why would they reprimand their own person? It makes them look bad as well. So why would why do why would they even combine the police department? Like yeah. why would the state's attorney work with the police? Right. I don't right. understand. It yeah. should all be all the legal shit should be separate. Yeah. Because at that point, yeah. I mean, it's like yeah. it's sweet for me yeah. because yeah. I'm I'm so, going into a situation. Let alone money. And you're my friend for real. Of, I would you're say, my friend for real. Yeah. So how much are you really going to discipline right. me? I wouldn't right. say that they are friends per se. Oh, no, they're friends. Hold no, on. Stop. Let me, no, let me tell you friends. why. No, let me tell no, you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before you even places. say that. Nah, before you even say that. No, because I'm talking about these people eat lunch together. These people play golf together. These people's kids go to school together. These people are alumni together. Let me tell you why. And I would say certain situations. Because in Baltimore, we had a situation of the Gun Trace Task Force where these are rogue cops. Like, they robbing drug dealers, selling the drugs that they robbed them from back to the dealers because you can't do anything about it. And the state prosecutor went at them. You know, they, they had to prosecute them. So I can't necessarily say hold that. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And they're up. in jail right now. But that's corruption within their own job. But if there's an outside person, look, I, I fought the justice system. Nah, fact, same. Two years ago. I'll tell you right now. The lawyer told me that I'm going to appeal this case in a couple years because me and this judge just joined the same golf club. So I'm getting closer with him. So just give it a little bit of time. And if he comes back within a couple years, I'll probably be able to get him off. But here's my issue. Yeah, so no, I believe that. Too. So where's the justice? Because it's a game for you. If you can get him off, then do you really believe that he's guilty? And number so, two, if you really do believe he's, if the judge really does believe he's guilty, why would he let him off just because he's your my friend? Point, my, what I'm going to say is, you know, like, I'm going to just go back to this, you know. Uh, me, again, me and Charlie had this conversation. Yo, we're in their world, point blank period. When we get pulled over, I don't know if we haven't had the, I, I haven't seen the, the clip before, what happened transpired before, you know what I'm saying? But it looked like he was with his daughter or whatever. Yo, do what you have to do to stay alive. Anybody point blank. seen that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Like, anybody seen that clip when he, the guy was just complying and they still yeah. did what they did? Right. Remember saying that? A lot of times. Like, all the time. Like, Most so it's of like, the yes, time. Do it, but understand that it still we have might a go bigger to other problem. Right. Because yes. it doesn't even matter if you comply. The problem is the force. The power, the aggression, and that's what Didn't I was gonna say. I was gonna add to that. Didn't they shoot Brianna Taylor in her sleep? When we talk Taylor about the culture, like not complying. I was yeah. gonna say the culture, though, right? Like, cause we the, the kid, seventeen year old kid, right, that went to the protest and shot two innocent people and walked away from it. The headlines, and that's why I have an issue. He was we a in the media. It's not even just a vigilante, but the narrative was, oh, he was an aspiring police officer. So the fact that that mindset is already being instilled within children so that they move forward. And it's like, I have the power. I can go through. And they said that he walked by the police officers and they just, Yo. with an assault rifle, whereas a black yeah. man, I wouldn't even be able to walk out the house what a, with an assault <laughs> rifle. What? Boy, I would be dead at but the I hate to say it, But we keep making it about police versus black people, but it's just white people versus black people. That's so what all. I will say is, hold up. What I will say is, yo, you know, like as much as I'm frustrated, we got to, you know, I feel like we need to be in these positions. And this, is, this isn't this is a conversation that we haven't heard ha had before. We, As much as we don't want to, no, like nobody, no black kid that I know is have the dream of being a police officer anymore. You know what I'm saying? We got to we gotta want to be lawyers. We got to want to be police officers. And of course, it's easy for me to say being on a microphone. Yeah, right? but what I, about the cop that said that it was wrong for what they did to George Floyd? He got fired the next day. No, but that's, that, that's what I'm saying. So it's like we got to. And that's why I brought up black and blue. We got to create this this new narrative this new narrative and it's, it's crazy because like this shouldn't be a fucking conversation like i'm tired of having the conversation i'm tired of marching i'm tired of the looting i'm tired I of am too. all that of it like nothing it's, it's to the point where it's like yo honestly i'm gonna keep it 100 i almost feel like not even almost i feel like yo we can just be 
just be segregated again. Like, Thank I'm you. I say it, it like, every time. It's like, yo, I like, say it all the time. Why are we still asking for something that they don't want to give us? Let's just come together and do our own thing. But, but if we have to come together. Yeah. Like, we have to come no, together. So, wait, but the wait. only reason we can't come together is because, because they have divided us. That's, that's what I was going to say. Why I brought say. up black and blue is because what I noticed is even the black people in power they it's upstairs. And I was about to say that. Even the black people in power, they're scared. It's yeah. an elite scared. thing. Yeah. It's an elite thing. And even them, they can only go but so far. And I think that's the problem. But that's why I say like, we need our own like I hate to say it, but Jewish people, they started at the bottom like us. Right, and what right, did they do? Real. They made their own community so, and then we don't real. need you to be the head of us because we'll be the head of ourselves. You know we feel safe. You know what I